Good morning. Look at you there. It's uh, like 20 to 10 and apparently I really needed to sleep today. <laughs> oh, blimey. Um, I have woken up with a little bit of a headache, which means that I'm probably dehydrated. Um, which I should imagine well, that is about right, actually, after, you know, a day of sampling foods. And then I had leftover Indian takeaway when I got home and then went to bed. I didn't actually drink that much. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit of Vimto and I do like Vimto. Slightly higher in carbs, but... It's still nice. And obviously I've got a coffee from Bagpuss today. I'm just looking at like the spirits I bought yesterday and going like, oh, it'd be quite nice in there. But no, I'm not going to because I don't think that would help my headache that much. I have got 32 things, I think, going up right now. And then a big order for someone to pay. Um, but that's cool. I mean... It is good to have sales. I am worried about that £85,000 thing, especially, you know, like tax, VAT, turnover, barrier type thing, especially because um, Heather saw that it was a rolling 85000 so it's not like it just gets capped at the end of the year and then you start afresh. It's like a 12-month period. So that's great. So it means... Something I've always got to keep an eye on. Either that or I smash through it and I haven't quite decided which direction I want to go in yet because obviously smashing through it would mean a heck of a lot more work. And I don't really fancy doing a heck of a lot more work. I'll do a bit more work but not it's a heck of a lot more. Don't think we're put on this earth to to, you know, just work. I certainly wasn't anyway, darlings. <gasps> Any old iron. Any old iron. So, yes, it's been a lovely weekend. Um, I went across to Bristol and, um, of course, Jack, who was doing his little, like, mini UK tour, uh, was there, so we met and went to bingo and car boot and food at um, Josh's mum's cafe, which was dead nice because good food. You should go, it's good. Um, and yeah, lovely weekend. I did buy some things, but some of them are being washed right now because um, I bought like 38 miniature plates, obviously. And I did buy some doll's house stuff and a jewellery box and a couple of DVDs. Me, Ja, I know. Um, and food, I bought lots of food. I came home with like my rucksack, which was full, and then like my regular tote bag, and then like two other bags as well. So that was fun, especially because I had to get on a bus replacement to service as well so lovely anyways um someone else has just paid for something so that's uh 34 things yeah there you go 34 so i should um have my coffee and start getting my orders together because i'm already running late running late for a very important date Okay, these are my sales from the weekend that's going out. Skip forward a few minutes because it's kind of boring really, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, £8.79 for some alpaca Mexico earrings. Um, you can't see it in there, but it's um, a little necklace with like a mama bear and cub um, on it. That went for 6 99 including post sale of the weekend, except it actually happened this morning. Was this? I bought it for three pound and I sold it for one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, this vintage CTO 
a rolled gold pin with a real emerald in there, $23.99. A job lot of just random bits that you get, you know, when you're sorting out um, jewellery lots. So there's just like buttons and keys and just bits of random stuff. That went for a tenner. I mean, you can't complain when it's just a random thing of stuff, isn't it? A job lot of Bollywood Indian wedding style jewellery, $19.99. A cute little sterling silver seal with ball um, charm for charm bracelet, £10.19. A job lot of pendants for crafting and stuff, $7.99. A holly hobby hair slide, $7.99. A little crescent moon and blue pearl necklace, seven ninety nine. This handmade Akil Islands necklace made from like a ceramic necklace, um, nine ninety nine. A Celtic style brooch, thirteen ninety nine. A Jocassi London quite chunky um, brass type bracelet, fifteen ninety nine. This is a sparkly green pendant necklace, $6.99. A little bolo, those are like slider necklace with a flower on, $7.99. This Thai goddess, ooh, fruity, and um, candlestick holder or vase or however you want to use it. £13, quite heavy though. So I did charge a fiver for postage, so hopefully that's enough. Probably isn't. Anyway. Um, these huge, sparkly, kind of crazy, brutalist style clip-on earrings, £13.31. Two La Visa bracelets, like these little triple or bracelets, went for a fiver. This Bombay Duck charm bracelet with all, like, shoes, flip-flops on it, went for £3.99. Another one that you can't see in a little packet there, that one's got, um, like a cross, a heart, and an infinity symbol. That went for five ninety nine, including post. This one, a red glass collar length necklace, uh, eleven pounds nineteen. Another one in a packet. This one was a mama bear and two little cubs. That one was six ninety nine, including post. A phase eight, brand new with tags, multi strand beaded necklace, fourteen pounds thirty nine. Little Celtic knot. Earring, silver tone, not silver, um, five pounds. A two kilogram lot of costume jewelry, which is on the floor, I'm not bending over to pick that up. Uh, 15 99 including post. Um, a green stone necklace and then this multi stone necklace, 19 pounds, because they go into the same person. This multicolored glass necklace 9.99 another two kilogram lot of jewelry a vintage floral maxi dress i've had that for quite a while now um 18 pounds 19 a scargan scargan um just not quite a charm bracelet hang on someone's calling me that was my dentist ringing to make sure i'm still coming tomorrow i am yep Anyways, that's Scargan bracelet and then this little Baroque pearl um, and little crystal drop earrings, $7.99. A Bavarian cuckoo, little pin, £6.39. A stainless steel modernist pendant, $7.99. And a Bill Skinner um, honeycomb bee necklace, £29. So um, yeah, gonna get packing all of that stuff. Didn't realise it was linked to my phone then. Hmm. Post is done, really, and now I'm going to have some lunch. So I'm having this low carb food company roll that I um, picked up as a freebie yesterday, and I'm having it with some pickled red cabbage, some pastrami, big chunky pastrami, rocket and watercress, and some sour cream in there, and with some uh, lemon and coriander olives on the side. Four grams of carbs and 350 calories in total. Heidi heidi ho. So lunch was really nice. I very much enjoyed that um, almost like American style sandwich, um, you know, with the pastrami and the the pickle, cabbage. Um, 
That was really good. And not too heavy as well, because obviously I'm off swimming now. I forgot um, to say this morning about like weight loss update, or rather this week, it's weight gain. It's a pound. Um, like I said, the week before, I'd lost three and a half pounds or 3.8 pounds, which is way too much. Um, and I was really dehydrated. So um, I rehydrated and put on a pound that day and then a pound the next day. So I've lost a pound again, technically, since then, but whatever, whatever. I was expecting it today anyway. To be fair, I was expecting two pounds on, um, but it's only a pound, so in a way, that's good. I don't know. Anyways, it's all gravy. Um, but yeah, we're off for a swim now, and then probably we'll pop up to the Brackler shops maybe. Um, really looking forward for tea tonight because it's basically sort of what I had for lunch but with it for tea. Not having the bread roll but I am having the um, scotch egg that I got yesterday at the um, low carb food festival. So really looking forward to that because I do bloody love a scotch egg. Um, yeah load of salad on the side because that salad's got to get it um so nice big salad a massive salad on the side and uh oof, yeah can't wait for that it's gonna be lush anyways let's go swim and yet again pool to myself swim done bit damp uh just got a taxi or taxi's on its way i'm gonna head up to brackler and yeah, check out the two charity shops there, Where? I barely bought anything in the charity shop. In fact, I only bought one thing, um, and that's this cake plate, uh, boil Worcester, or rather it's um, a cake plate that's been made out of a plate. I don't know if it would originally have been that, but hey ho, it was £2.50. Um, I got it sort of for my sister, but sort of for the um, Queenie party that we're gonna have for Jubilee tea party that we're gonna do. Anyways, I'll show you in a bit what um, what I bought at the car boot and charity shops at the weekend. But first of all, I'm going to have one of these cookies from Kilio. Um, keto and Paleo Keto Chocolate Chip Cookie 
with almond flour, butter, dark chocolate, eggs, erythritol, stevia, baking powder, xanthan gum and salt. 180 calories for one cookie and 2.5 grams carbs. So I'm going to have that with my coffee. Look at that. Chock full. That's a good cookie. Yum. Might even give it a dunk. Yum, yum. Okay, so this is what I got um, like over the weekend, minus most jewellery, because obviously I show that in the Sparkly Things video. This was three bags of vintage Dolls House stuff. So it's got like a little dresser and um, table and chairs, two little oil lamps, which are just adorable. And then there's like a little uh, log burner and um, various other little bits. So yeah, I bought three bags for them for um, nine pounds in total, because I'm just a sucker for miniature stuff. From the car boot, I bought a bag full of like random broken jewellery bits. Um, I saw this in there and I thought that was worth fixing because it's quite a pretty necklace. It's got all of its stones and everything. Just needs a clasp. And then in it also was this rather lovely set of pearls. Um, it's just one long length, but as you can see, it's like, I don't know if you can see, sort of in the side, it's like alternating colours. So there's like a whiter one and then like a peachier one. Can you sort of see? It's nice anyway. So not bad from two pounds. 50 pence, I got this um, very well used musical ballerina mirror music box, jewelry box with the key. It is a bit dirty on the inside, a little bit rusty on the clasp and a wee bit battered on the outside, but that's okay because it is a, one of them, Design Philippe, um, made in Sweden. There you go. Um, and they do all right. I've sold them before. And then for three pound, I bought all of these miniature plates, all of these, so 16 plates of the world. And then these ones, there's 22 of the bird ones, and they're all, um, there you go, Franklin Porcelain, 1981, Songbirds of the World. So I'll sell that as a job lot and that as a job lot. Um, I have sold some of these separately and I've still got some of them listed separately as well, but I can't be bothered to, well, maybe I should take them down and put them with these. I don't know. We'll see anyway, but yeah, I'll probably do them as like two job lots. And um, I mean, for three quid, you know, there's bound to be profit in that. So yeah, that'll do, innit? Right, here's my dinner tonight that I've been well looking forward to. Doesn't that look ace? So we've got um, watercress and rocket under there and some um, spring onions, tomato, sour cream, chili cheese, pastrami, red cabbage, and my lovely, lovely scotch egg. Comes to about 560 calories and seven grams of carbs. And this is my yummy pudding tonight. My steak layer of gingerbread flavor keto hana, loads and loads of fire because I had needed basically I used the last bit of that and the last bit of that. We had some frozen strawberries to use, um, and then there's some salted caramel syrup. It comes up to I think 360 calories and seven grams of carbs. Oh, and I know it's going to be good. And we got some visitors. We got the Koopa. Okay, yeah. I'm having chewies. Look at that little tail go. Ah, oh, he's a good boy. It's a good boy. Of course he does, sir. He's a good boy. Of course he wants a biscuit. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? I want a proper biscuit, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was my sister and uh, brother-in-law and Cooper. I just come round for a coffee and uh, I gave her a cake plate and she gave me two bits of jewellery. So... That's a bear swap, yay. I am done for the day now. I am going to probably go and um, wash my hair, I should imagine. And tomorrow I've got another fun at the dentist, but probably the last one actually. I'm gonna get that filling replaced. Um, I have got another gray filling up there, but to be honest, that one can just stay, I think. There's no point getting that one redone, is it? 
Um, so then that should be me done at the dentist. <sighs> Finally. Huzzah. Yay. So that's all the plans I've got for tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog or not. I might do a what I eat in a day or something. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, until next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bibbly-boo. Bibbly-boo. Bibbly-boo.